critique part one is done we didn't get to my piece this week but all the pieces that we looked at were so good guys like they were so amazing um i'm gonna go meet my friend at the other campus and hopefully do some work <laughs> okay, I'm running late for my sophomore summer class. I overslept, but luckily it's a six hour class and I'll only be like, I mean not only, but I'm gonna be like 30 minutes late. Oh, I'm not happy about it, but you know, I'm here um, on my way now, so let's go. class which i'm actually running late for it starts at nine and i need to leave like right now uh because it's like 8 20. Uh, i'm going to my artist class and then i'm meeting yen um you probably know her on youtube because if you're watching my channel you definitely have seen her channel before um she's yen and on youtube and i'm so excited to meet her i started watching her videos on youtube and then i realized oh she goes to my school and i follow her on instagram not putting two and two together but she's really sweet and i'm excited to meet her in person and yeah today's gonna be a good day i'm really excited i have a lot of work to do for tomorrow but i'm excited and i'll show you guys my pro my process and my progress so far but let's leave because i do not want to be too late for her history <laughs> It's gonna take me like 40 minutes to get there and I need to leave now. Okay, 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 bye. <laughs>
Lisa. I just met Yen for the first time in IRL. And she's literally the best. Like, she's so sweet. It was so nice talking to her and meeting her for the first time. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Um, now I'm going to my dry class. I'm running a little bit late. Just when I had such a good time. Uh, I don't regret it, but I have critique. So I'm speed walking. Yeah, uh, I, I probably can't film in there just because my work is not YouTube friendly because it has a lot of gore. That's all I'll say. But yeah, I'll let you go. Y'all know how it goes. studio i left the studio at like 10 20 and i got home like at 11 past 11 i'm very tired um today was a good day though i had a really good day my critique went really well um people liked my work but i got really good feedback on what i could do to improve next time if i were like let's say if i were to rehash it um I had a lot of good critique on it and it made me very happy to like, I don't know, get feedback on my work. Um, I said this earlier, but like I'm so happy that I met Yen today. I think that was definitely a highlight besides my, my critique. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's so exciting! Um, right now I am going to continue to work on my comic for my zine project. I always do this to myself where I give myself so much work that I have to be working up until the last minute. Not even that I start the last minute. I work all the way through up until the last minute. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that today. Probably not gonna sleep uh, or get like an hour of sleep at most because I have a lot of inking to do, inking and toning to do. And I have to scan it, and format it. I still have to print it in the morning, like, ah! We're gonna figure it out. I'm not panicked. I'm not panicked. Anyway, let's get, let's, let's just get into it. I gotta caffe caffeinate myself so I can stay up and don't pass out like I did yesterday. Or the day before, I don't remember. But yeah. It's 5 a.m. I've been up this whole time. I have like two hours to finish inking the pages that I have. I've accepted that I'm not going to color uh, my character's skin tone dark because I don't think I have the time. They have like deep, like deep to medium, medium to deep skin and I don't even think, because I can't, I definitely can't cross hatch it in time, but I don't even think I'll be able to use a Copic marker in time, but we're gonna have to see what happens. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to ink everything, but I'm gonna try my best, like, I've made it this far, I'm not gonna give up, I'm just going to see how far I get, but no matter what, I have to stop at a certain time so I can commute to school and start printing the pages out, because it seems to say at nine, and I have to make sure I have five zines stapled together, and that doesn't even count for how many times I have to reprint my pages, and also I have to format my pages in a print format so that it can, man, let me stop talking. And let me get back to inking. Yeah. All right. I'll update you in like two hours. <laughs> Hi. It's not two hours later. It's an hour and a half later. I'm getting ready to go to school now. Um, just because I want to be there when the building opens, so I can just already be set up and like not stress as much about getting there and get there ASAP. So I have that out of the way and I can just finish working on the zine. It's not a comic. Um. I mean, I'm still enjoying doing it. I'm just. I just haven't added any more stress. Um, like, I don't necessarily regret. Doing this for my project because I don't think I would have wanted to do anything else, but like, I wish I was able to be a little less meticulous with everything that I do with my artwork because I definitely, definitely didn't have to make a lot of the panels as much as I did. I spent too much time on a lot of the panels. So, yeah, even though I did pace myself in a decent way, working on it a bit every day, I feel like in the end I was just too ambitious. But you know what? Let's just see how much we finish when we get to school. Yeah, I'll update you maybe during my lunch break for the class where the zine is due.
As page six, as you can see, um, I have, I'm, I'm sort of going through all my pages first and erasing all the pencil lines. Um, let me turn the light on this so you can see better. I'm erasing all of the pencil, the pencils for the, um, the pages. So, uh, I'm on page six of erasing everything and then adding more detail. And then after I do this with all of my pages, adding more detail and erasing the pencils, um, I am going to tone it with my Copic markers that I bought. So, yeah, I'm gonna work on this. Like I said, it is 6.40 a.m. It's 6.50 now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna work on this and I will update you maybe in a couple hours. I'm drinking some coffee and some juice. So, uh, I'm gonna try to speed, not speed through, but like get through this effectively. Yeah. Get it? Because Inception? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so basically, as you probably saw in the last clip, I did not record the actual day that my zine was due. Let me explain what happened. First of all, once I got to the building, I could not go upstairs for a bit because it was like actually closed closed. Um, I got to the building, I think around like 7 a.m. And I couldn't, like, really do anything until about, like, 8 a.m. Uh, it was extremely stressful. But basically, I was able to figure out printing the zine in its very raw and unfinished state. Or at least the state that I didn't want it to be in. And I was scrambling, literally, to put it together, like, physically as the class was about to start. And... What ended up happening is that only one of my classmates had the zine fully finished and ready to present. Um, I could have presented mine, but I didn't want to. So, since the majority of the class did not have anything ready um, at all, my professor decided to extend the deadline for another week. So... That is basically what had happened, and that day I was already so tired because I did not sleep, and I was so disappointed in myself, and let me explain why I was disappointed. I think this project, I put a lot of weight on this project into uh, it being possibly a sign whether or not it would be feasible for me to actually produce and like put out a comic in the future even if it's like as like webcomic or whatever i put i guess the success rate of this being a possibility on whether or not i could churn out the necessary content within the time restraints that i was given which if i remember correctly i think i only had I can't remember if I had two or three weeks to get this project done, but I remember when I first thought of the idea for what I wanted to do for this project, I had started planning pretty early on, I guess maybe three and a half weeks 
before we would have to originally present it. So by the end of everything, I had spent a month working on this comic almost. I think realistically now that I am a year in the future, I greatly underestimated how much work goes into even just the prep work of a comic even if it's just like a bit of a chapter like how much work actually needs to go into the preparatory phase of it before actually getting out and producing because I think figuring out what each page was going to look like ended up taking the longest time and then of course it came the inking and the toning that took a long time too but my last several pages did not come to me as easily as the first maybe four pages right so that took a lot of time to in trial and error to figure out how i was going to plan um each panel each page as a whole the dialogue etc etc i think all in all i was really hard on myself i think a bit too hard on myself to be honest by the end of this day because i had put in so much work into it and i kind of treated it as though i had done nothing and that this was a huge waste of my efforts because I had nothing to show for it when that just was not the case but I'm glad that I had this experience because I think it did really open my eyes to how much time and effort goes into making things like these and if I want to actually make a comic as part of what I want to do professionally then prepare myself for the investment of like materials time energy effort all of that into making my dream project a reality and that's really about it like you'll see like now um with the extra week extension i'm like basically doing as much as i can to get a decent amount of pages into the zine because i had six i think maybe at the time of um the initial deadline and i think by the end deadline i think we had 12 like inked pages which is nothing to scoff at i don't think so yeah i'm pretty proud <laughs> fine arts building. I missed my art history class this morning because I was stupid and did not sleep and I overslept. Um, so we're kind of having a late start to the day which is not what I wanted but um, whatever we're here now. I just got the stuff for my project for my next drawing project.
Good morning. Sorry, the camera quality is not that good in the front when it's low light. Um, but I am on my way to the Fine Arts Building uh, to do some last touches on my zine, which was really done, but I need to staple it. Um, yeah. And if I can do a cover illustration for it, good. But if not, it, I'm happy with what I printed out already. Um, that's my outfit. Um, oh, my dog's waking up. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> Cutie pie. But yeah, let's head out. Um, gonna be going to my South Park Seminar class and then my painting class for the in the night time. So let's let's get a head start on the day. Good morning. 